Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video was going to be a dedicated Target and Ulta Beauty haul because I know that you guys really enjoyed the last haul that I did from those stores, but I've also recently made some purchases from Amazon and Sephora, so I thought I might as well just throw everything into this video and make it one giant Target, Ulta Beauty, Sephora, and Amazon haul. So let's jump into it. I caved. I picked up the Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Volume 5 Full Size Gloss Bomb Trio. I talked to you guys about this in my Sephora holiday gift set video. If you watch that, then you'll know how excited I was about this shade right here. This is, I believe, a limited edition shade. It's brand new and it's stunning, but I was like, I feel like I don't need this entire set. I already have lip gloss shades in my collection that look like this cream shade and look like the heat shade, even though those are also beautiful. Um, so I decided to buy it and give those two shades away to my mom and sisters so I could just keep this one. So the shade is called Fuchsia Flex and it's this gorgeous deep fuchsia shade with golden and kind of purpley micro glitters throughout it. Let's watch it together. Oh my God, I cannot. I feel like the camera is not really picking up the glittery reflect aspect of this, but it's there and it's stunning. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Needed to restock my L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. You guys know that I go through this product like a crazy person. I am obsessed with it. It's so, so beautiful. So needed a refill. This is super random for me. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara, but in the shade blue. I don't want to wear like a completely blue mascara, but I want to mix and match with black to see if that complements my eyes a little bit better and makes them pop without it looking like I'm wearing fully colored mascara, you know, kind of like a little mix. So I'm going to play around with that and I'll keep you guys posted. Another item I talked to you guys about in a gift set video, this is the Philosophy Snow Angel Shower Gel. Well, it's actually shower gel, shampoo, bubble bath, but I'll be using it as a shower gel. I didn't realize that they actually sold these in individuals because I saw the gift set where they had this with two other scented body washes but this is the one that I was most interested in. So I was excited I could pick it up individually. Okay, come off. Ooh, that smells really yummy. How do they describe this? Uh, they don't. It definitely just smells fresh and wintry, but not in a traditional holiday sense. Like it doesn't smell like cinnamon or Christmas trees or anything like that. It's just nice and fresh. I like. And the last thing I picked up from Ulta is the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. I don't plan to use this on my eyelashes, but I do want to start using it on my eyebrows. I used to, oh gosh, what was it called? I used to always use Rapid Brow on my eyebrows, which is an eyebrow serum. It's from the same brand that has Rapid Lash, if you're familiar with that. And that worked really, really well for me. I saw a huge improvement, but I have not used that in such a long time. I kind of just fell off and forgot about it. And my brows are showing that. So I thought I would give this one a go and maybe I can do some sort of before and after over on TikTok and Reels. So make sure that you're following me there if you want to see my transformation with this. But I feel like it's a good time to test it out since it has been so long since I've used an eyebrow serum. Let's put her to the test. I feel like that's a good segue into a couple brow products that I picked up from Amazon. So let's jump over to my Amazon purchases next. They're kind of random. It's just two different beauty brands. The first brand is Schwarzkopf. I don't know how to pronounce that. This is their Got To Be Glued For Brows and Edges Gel. So this is an eyebrow gel that I saw on TikTok. Just has a spoolie on it. And I think it was actually Michaela who was raving about this. I did already test this out once and it did not keep my brows lifted. <laughs> I just feel like my brows are impossible to work with. I can definitely get them to like fluff up initially, but they never seem to stay. I think it's just because my brows are so sparse and thin that I don't know, they don't hold well. So I'll keep testing this out. I will keep you guys posted. First impression was not the best for me, but I know that a lot of people really love it who maybe don't have brows like mine. And the other thing I saw on TikTok that I wanted to try out for my brows is this. This one is not meant for your brows. It's just meant for your hair, which is why it's so big. I was like, dang, I did not think it was going to be that big. I wish they had like a mini. Anyway, this is their ultra glued invisible styling gel for vertical styles that has non-sticky crazy hold, allegedly. So I'm I'm gonna test this one out too. Maybe I'll have better luck with this. Literally says, feels like gel, holds like glue. We'll see about that. And then everything else that I got from Amazon is from Eliza Vecca. I recently posted a video talking about this product right here. It is the Eliza Vecca CER-100 Collagen Ceramide Coating Protein Treatment, and it's 
what, like $7 or is it 13? I can't remember, crazy affordable. So I was like, I have to try it out obviously. And spoiler alert, I love it. So I'm gonna list my review below if you haven't seen that yet. I talk through the ingredients, I show you the texture of the product up close, how I like to use it, my results, etc. It's such a good product. I really was blown away by it and not expecting to like it at all. So I had to repurchase it because I already ran out. That's the only complaint I have about it is that it's really small and there's not a ton of product in it. And I have a lot of hair. So takes a lot to coat it, which is why I rebought it. And then I wanted to just test out even more from the brand. The packaging is just so cute. So this is the Collagen Coating Hair A Plus Muscle Spray. Oh, that's in Korean. So this is just supposed to be a leave-in conditioner. We will see how this works on my hair. I do get really nervous to test out new leave-in conditioning products because it makes such a difference in how my hair looks and feels after washing. So if it doesn't work out, then that like ruins my hair for several days, but I'll keep you guys posted, of course, on all of these. I also picked up this treatment. This is called the CER-100 Collagen Coating Protein Ion Injection. This one's really teeny. This will last me like two uses. Okay, so this one they say to apply after shampooing, but also you can spread onto dry hair as daily care without rinsing it out. So you could use this as a treatment, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, Again, that's too small for me to use as conditioner, so maybe I'll add a little bit as like a leave-in in combination with that spray. We'll see. And then the last thing I got from Amazon is the Eliza Vecca CER-100 Hair Muscle Essence Oil. So this is just a hair oil. It has some really nice ingredients like argan oil, evening primrose oil, macadamia oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, etc. I don't think there's really anything that unique about this in the same way that maybe there is with that first treatment that I talked about, but still it seemed like a good hair oil that I wanted to test out because it's so affordable and cute. All right, let's move on to Sephora. I actually made one final run to Sephora during the VIB sale. So I had uploaded an initial Sephora VIB sale haul video. And then after that, I was like, wait, there's a couple more things that I think I wanna buy. So these are those items. This is one that I did already talk about in the last haul video. It is the Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder. I picked it up originally in a deeper shade, but I am loving it so much for bronzer that I wanted to also pick up a lighter shade that works for me when my skin is fair. So that is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. It is so, so pretty and affordable. I love baked powders like this for bronzer. I feel like they just look so nice. Next is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, which was a recommendation from you guys. In my last haul, I was just talking about the issues that I was having with concealer and so many of you recommended this. So I was like, all right, I'll try it out. And I have not been disappointed. This really is such a beautiful concealer. So I totally see why so many of you recommended it and I'm so glad I bought it. The next thing I picked up is this Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in the shade Space Cowboy. I think my mom actually was the one that told me about this originally and it is beautiful. I've been super into these glitter topper shades. I'll swatch it for you guys. Oh, are you kidding? Look how stunning that is. So, so beautiful. So it's like this goldeny beige glitter topper with, I would say like whitish glitter. It's really nice. Then I couldn't resist. I had to pick up the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette because look at this, look at this. The Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette is one of my all-time favorites. I use it all the time to create shadow winged liner and just do some lighter, more natural eye looks. So I already knew that I loved the mattes and I was excited to play around with those, but I mostly bought this because of the glitter toppers. I'm gonna swatch these for you guys too. So here are some of the glitter toppers in this palette. Oh my God, come on. They're so beautiful. So I'm super excited about this purchase. I know that it has been sold out for a while. So hopefully it comes back in stock. Well, it might not because they were saying limited edition, but maybe they'll bring it back again. Hopefully that's the case because it's really good. And the last thing I got is the Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. This is in, I think, a limited edition shade, which is Dior Addict. It's this beautiful light gold shade. Let's swatch. Okay, you can't even see that. Oh, there you have it. 
Yes. It is really pretty. I do love these light gold shades for lip gloss. I don't think I have any other shades that are super similar to this, but I'm also like, this isn't the most necessary purchase. It's definitely expensive. It's Dior. And I'm sure that there are a lot of other affordable light gold glosses out there that are almost as beautiful or just as beautiful. So not one that I'm going to say you need to run out and buy, but if... Sorry, but if you're really into this Dior Lip Maximizer formula and you love shades like this, then I do think that you would like it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm just like, I'm sure there's a lot else out there that's just like this. All right, let's wrap up with my Target purchases. This is definitely the most hodgepodgey out of any of the retailers that I purchased from. I have some oral hygiene products and then it's basically all candles and books and a blanket. Had to restock on my favorite toothpaste and mouthwash. I wanted to include these in this video because I still continue to get questions asking what I do to whiten my teeth. So I like to use the Crest 3D White Glamorous White mouthwash every morning and I also use that with the Colgate Optic White Renewal. Why did my voice just go out? High impact white toothpaste. I swear by this combination it works so well for me. I don't need to use white strips. It gets the job done. Should we do some candles? Oh wait let me show you this blanket first. Okay I needed a new blanket for my couch and this feels basically identical. Identical? <laughs> identical to the barefoot dreams blanket that i have in basically this exact same color i was like wait what this is the threshold cozy chenille blanket it says soft and cozy it is and i got the twin size just to throw on my couch but they also had bigger sizes for a bed if you wanted um what? This is amazing. Did I just accidentally find a barefoot dream soup? I did a little bit of Christmas decorating in my apartment, so I wanted to also pick up some holiday themed candles to supplement the holiday feel. The first one that I got is holiday spruce. I really love the smell of Christmas trees and I've already been burning this a lot. This one might be my favorite. It is sea salt caramel hot cocoa and that's exactly what it smells like. Oh my gosh. It's so rich and buttery. Yum. Another sweet one that I picked up is Cookie Exchange, which just smells like sugar cookies. Delish. And the last candle that I got is Fireside Flannel with glowing embers and cinnamon. Oh, I love the smell of this one. It's just perfectly like cottony, flannelly with a little bit of cinnamon. Yum. I wanted to have a nice mix of like sweet, not sweet. Okay. I went crazy on the books. The first book I picked up is called The Favorite Sister, and it's written by Jessica Knoll, who is the author of Luckiest Girl Alive. So I wanted to try this one out because I read that book several years ago and loved it. I've heard good things about it. It's basically supposed to be about the reality TV world. On the front, it says that it's engrossing, deliciously savage, and wildly entertaining. That sounds right up my alley. And then the rest of the books I purchased are actually all kind of rom com -y books. That's definitely not my typical genre of book, but I have purchased so many thrillers and suspenseful books and things that are just a little bit heavier to read. So I wanted to also pick up some of these books, which are way lighter on the heart, if you will, to kind of alternate back and forth between with my darker books. So the first one I got is called Hook, Line, and sinker by tessa bailey this one's actually a number one new york times bestseller wait what this says it's a follow-up to it happened one summer does that mean i have to read that first dang it <laughs> okay i might have to buy that book first and then read this after Okay. Next is The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, who wrote Beach Read. I read that recently and enjoyed it. It definitely wasn't my favorite book of all time, but again, it just was one that was nice and light and easy to read. So I thought I would try this one out. I also got The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. I feel like I've seen this all over TikTok and heard so many people raving about it. It's just one of those that I feel like people love. So Love Hypothesis. And the last one is not one that I had ever heard about before, but they had it sitting in the book talk section. I love that they have that now at like Target and Barnes and Noble. So books that go viral on TikTok, you'll find on those shelves. And this was sitting there and I'm gonna be honest, I literally only bought it for the cover. 
How cute is this? It's described as a breezy, addictive romance. Before we wrap up the video, I cannot forget to show you guys this. It is the Favorite Day Peppermint Mocha Indulgent Trail Mix. So Target has a bunch of these different holiday themed trail mixes and I thought that this one sounded amazing. And it is, um, I've already, oh. That actually doesn't look like I put that much of a dent in it, but I have been picking away at this. Okay, <laughs> this looks like I've had nothing, but I have been eating it. It says it has dark chocolate mint balls, which are my personal favorite. I've been trying to dig through to get those. Peppermint pretzel balls, peppermint almonds, red and green sprinkle cookies, and peppermint coffee beans. It's so yummy. If you're somebody that really likes peppermint mocha, oh my gosh. Otherwise they had other flavors that sounded amazing, so. Check it out. I want a dark chocolate peppermint ball. Found one. Oh my God. All right, you guys, we are going to wrap up this video here. Those are all of the purchases that I made at Ulta, Target, Amazon, and Sephora. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you'll have to let me know in the comments below. Are you going to pick up any of the items that I talked about here? Is there anything that you've purchased recently that you're loving that you think we should know about and pick up ourselves? If you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more hauls from me in the future, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support means the world as always. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days.